leave no stone unturned. His class has spent the past months looking through history textbooks, both old and current, in order to find out if violence has increased in America over the years. Here's what they found out. Um, then, I, like I found later that by the graphs that violence had been more in the textbooks newer than the older ones. Were you surprised on what you found? Yes. ...from Southern California brought drought-resistant plants to the state capitol today to make a point. At in 1887, the Wright Act was passed, permitting formation of irrigation districts. Talk about research. Not only do these kids know their subject, they came armed with letters of support, Not graphs, labor, and good arguments. But why is it that one of these plants only needs 60% less fertilizer, 55% less water, and 25% less labor? And that concept was good enough for committee members. They passed the resolution. So the in a difference program. His students tackle society's problems and work to provide solutions. The California Secretary of State, Mr. Jones, used their ideas on how to improve the California voting registration forms. We were the students came up with an anti-graffiti kit they've sold to cities around the world. And to teach the kids current events, Haskvitz has them create a daily newsletter that they fax to the local hospital's maternity ward. These kids are truly on the move, running against a sheriff's deputy's radar gun to learn about distance and speed in a lesson on okay, world exploration. Haskvitz believes students learn best when they apply their knowledge. I feel proud of what I accomplish. I'll know that I can make a difference and that it's possible. The class researched seatbelt safety and worked with county sheriffs to edge time the school size doubled and became more multicultural, Al's students zoomed from the 22nd to the 94th percentile on standardized tests. Earlier in the year around the elections, we were getting people enrolled for election and everything like that. And what do Al's former students think? And now I'm not afraid to voice my opinion. I, I really learned to, you know, stand up for what I believed in. It kind of taught me school could be fun. <laughs>